Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at um, how to find distance between two points. All right, so let's get started. So you might find this weird, but um, to actually find distance between two points, you actually need the Pythagoras theorem. Now, if you've forgotten what that is, that was a squared plus b squared equals h squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys a real quick example of how to do this. So in this case, I've got my um, base here. Well, I'm going to put this as A, that as B, and then this here is my hypotenuse because it's a right angle triangle. So what I have is I've got A squared plus B squared equals H squared. A squared is 3 squared plus 4 squared equals H squared. Now, doing this, you're going to get H squared equals 25. Therefore, H is equal to 5. Now, you need this for distance between two points. And I'm going to show you in the next example how we bring Pythagoras theorem into distance between two points. All right, so here in this case, we've actually got two points. Uh, I'm going to call these two points A and B. And now we want to find the distance between A and B. So I'm actually looking for this distance here. So to work it out, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a right angle triangle. So I'm going to create a right angle triangle where it looks something like this. Now, at this point, I can see that I've got um, 0 here as my x-coordinate, 3 as my x-coordinate. So 3 minus 0, this ends up being 3, right? Because there's a 3 there and there's a 0 there. And then, of course... I have 4 as my y-coordinate and also 0 there. So 4 minus 0 is going to be 4. So what I've basically done is I've actually made this into a right angle triangle where I have 3 as a base and 4 as the height. And now I'm trying to figure out what the hypotenuse is. So basically what I have is the same as what I did in the previous example. a squared plus b squared equals h squared. So I've got 3 squared plus... 4 squared equals equals h squared, all right, which is the hypotenuse, and that's uh, right here. So this is the hypotenuse I'm measuring. So I know from the previous example, uh, in this case, I had uh, h squared equals 25, therefore h is equal to 5. So for this question, uh, the distance between a and b equals 5 units. Okay, let me show you another example. All right, so in this example, once again, I'm going to create a right angle triangle to actually work out what um, the distance between these two points are. All right, so let's say I'm going to call this point C and D. So the first thing is I'll work out what the base is. So here I've got 4 as my x coordinate and 9 as my um, x coordinate for d so 9 minus 4 that gives me 5 and then on the height of it I've got 4 as my y coordinate and 0 so 4 minus 0 I'm talking about this I've got 4 and 0 here so 4 minus 0 is going to give me 4 so that's 4 so again I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals h squared. So what I have is 5 squared plus 4 squared equals h squared. And that's 25 plus 16. That's 41 equals h squared. Therefore, h is equal to 6 point something. Let me just work it out what it is. 6.403. So I can see that the distance between C and D equals 6.403 units. Okay, hopefully you guys are starting to get the idea. Uh, let's do one last example, and then I'll actually prove, uh, show you what the equation of equation is as well. So it's another way you can do it. So in this question, uh, I've basically got minus four and three here. So I can see that as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7 units in the for the base, all right, as usual, same thing, 
using the right angle triangle, which is the hypotenuse method. All right, and in terms of its height, I've got five here and minus one, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. So six. So that means my hypotenuse, which is h squared equals a squared plus b squared. And what I'm gonna get is h squared equals seven squared plus six squared, which is seven squared plus six squared. We have 85. Therefore, h is equal to square root of 85, which is 9.22. So once again, I have my distance. I didn't actually give a name for these points. So let's call this D and E. Uh, distance DE equals 9.22 units. Cool. I guess in the next slide, I'm actually going to show you guys what the formula is and how that comes about. So. At this point, I've got two. I mean, I've got two points here, and I need to find the um, what the distance, what the distance between these two points are going to be. So, with the red point, obviously, I have an x. I'm going to call this x1 and y1, and then the blue point, I'm going to call it x2 and y2. So, what you need to do is create. I mean, we're going to still use the idea of Pythagoras. But I'm going to show you guys how to get the equation for distance between two points. All right, so I'm going to use, create a right angle triangle. Now, the first thing I need to do is find the distance between, um, I mean, the base distance. All right, now to do that, I can actually say that the distance would be x1 minus x2. All right, because you know how that's why we look the look at the difference of the x values to work out what the um, distance is, and then for the height of this triangle, we're gonna do y1 minus y2. Okay, so if you think about it, the distance, which happens to be bet the distance between the blue and the red dot. Now, if you write this as a in in Pythagoras theorem using Pythagoras theorem you would get d squared, which is the hypotenuse squared. I actually might even do it like this. h squared equals a squared plus b squared. All right. And what you can see then is the base, which is x1 minus x2 squared plus b squared, which is this part here, which is the height of the triangle, which is y1 minus y2 squared. So the formula then can be said is distance between two points can be written as square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. All right, and that is your distance, the formula for distance between two points. Now, if you're comfortable using Pythagoras, of course, by all means, you can use it. So I'm going to use this, show you one more example, which is the last example where I'll solve the problem with using Pythagoras and with using this particular formula. So here are my two points. Uh, let's call this uh, F and G. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Pythagoras theorem. So when I use Pythagoras, I'm gonna create a right angle triangle that looks like this. Okay, so my base, I've got four and two, that's gonna be six. And my height, I've got five and two, that's gonna be seven. So in this case, h squared equals 6 squared plus 7 squared. h squared equals 85. So h is equal to 9.21. So the distance between f and g is going to be 9.21. But if I was to use the formula, d is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. Now, guys, when people use this formula, they always kind of mix things up so one thing that I always recommend people to do is actually write your two points first so I'd actually write my point this is negative 2 5 and my other point is 4 negative 2 all right once you do this then what I would recommend you to do is do it like this x1 y1 x2 y2 
Now, the reason I ask you to do this is because then when you substitute, you don't actually mix things up. So I've got x1, which is negative 2, x2, which is 4, so minus 4 squared, plus y1 is 5, minus negative 2, which is y2 squared. So what I end up with is square root of negative 6 squared plus 7 squared, which if you work out in the calculator, should also equal 9.21. And basically, folks, that's how you um, solve or use the formula to find distance between two points. Cool. That's it for this little video. Thank you for watching.